This week on DOTV, a May Day preview. The final episode of Loomis Basin 95650, our weekly sports update, and so much more, beginning now. Hello Del Oro, I'm Lauren Raboni. And I'm Megan Silva. Senior Awards is approaching and Del Oro wants to recognize any students who receive scholarships from organizations or colleges. Drop by the counseling office and tell Mrs. Silva if this applies to you. Yearbooks will be available to pick up outside of room 101 Tuesday night, May 13th from 7 to 8, seniors only. Everyone else can pick up theirs on the 14th from 2.50 to 4.15 and on the 15th from 7 to 7.30 or 2.50 to 3.30. There are limited number of extra books available for $70 and it's first come first serve so be sure you arrive early. Today is May Day and in honor of this anticipated event, DOTV has put together a preview of all the activities available to you. Tyler has our story. May Day, the one day in May where teachers and students together get to have a fun time. Now this May Day, there's so much going on you may not know where to start. From video games and basketball tournaments to street performers and a petting zoo, there will be something for everyone this year. Alright, our new thing this year is street performers, which is a big thing that I like this year, and it includes um, impressionists and um, we have Hannah coming back this year, as well as um, break dancers and everything that we would probably see on the streets in San Francisco. It would be really cool. We're also bringing Giant Twister, and we're going to have a lot higher selection on our food this year. It's really good. So make sure you come out and see Mayday this year. It'll be fun on Thursday. Both students and teachers always have different things to look forward to at Mayday. I'm looking forward to churros. Those are extremely tasty. I'm looking forward to the awesome uh, Battle of the Bands one. I'm in it. Kind of. I make an appearance. Okay, my favorite part about May Day is the food. I like the churros and the cotton candy and the snow cones. Well, you know, they always have those like foam, not foam, but inflatable boxing pits where you're like, duh, duh, duh. I'm like, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. And the video games, Guitar Hero. Busting out the guitar here. And of course, there's the Battle of the Band. Together we make dilapidated donkeys! What, what genre we are? We're death metal! And a little bit of concrete, jungle, ambient, a little bit of trance, a little bit of this and that. Also, there will be a three on three basketball tournament. This May Day looks like it could be one of the best ever, so make sure you come out this Thursday. For DOTV, I'm Tyler Grimes. Thanks, Tyler. Help the Interact Club in supporting polio research, and you can win a gift card. All you have to do is pay 25 cents to guess the amount of jelly beans in a jar, which will be near the food stands in the cafeteria. For anyone who saw and loved the Golden Eagle picture designed by Megan Robinson that appeared on the senior announcements, you can purchase or print it in the library during or after fourth block. The cost is $10. All proceeds support Megan's Senior Project and a new art club here at Del Oro. This week on DOTV, the final episode of Loomis Basin 95650 concludes with an event that changes the lives of Dean, Molly, Charlie, Amber, and Johnny forever. Let's check it out.
You know, you always deserve better than him. I'm just looking for the right guy. Sometimes he's a lot closer than you think. You think so? I do. You know, I've always liked guys with blonde hair and blue eyes. I've always liked girls with guys' names. <laughs> Come on. Thanks, guys. I can't believe it's really over. What a great end to a great season. I can't wait to buy it on DVD. Definitely. Any college-bound student planning to attend an elite university should plan on going to an informational session coming to Sacramento this month beginning on May 15th. Representatives from Stanford, Harvard, Georgetown, and other schools will be present. See your counselor for more details. Now let's go to Nadine White with our weekly sports update. Starting us off with an excellent week in sports, we have Jake Fuse and the Golden Eagle baseball team for the first time in 17 seasons earning a shot to go to the playoffs. Jake's batting record and all-around playing style leads the Eagles with 25 runs, 30 hits, and two triples. Unfortunately, with all of the team's hard work, they lost to Granite Bay Friday, the final score being 5-9. But that didn't bring the boys down because Monday they came back to beat Rockland 1-0 with Trevor Thomas hitting the lone hit in the game in the bottom of the seventh inning. Thursday, boys volleyball gave great team effort and came together on the court with their match against the Roseville Tigers. It took a total of four games to determine a winner. The scores were 25 to 18, 21 to 25, 23 to 25, and 17 to 25. They have a game tonight home against Nevada Union. JV starts at 5, varsity at 6.30. Both JV and varsity softball were victorious over Granite Bay at their last game on Tuesday. Congratulations on a great season, girls. Also, track and field will be continuing their SFL League trials Friday starting at 2 o'clock at Rockland High School. That's all for Dio Sports. I'm Nadine White. Back to you girls. Well, thank you, Nadine. Good luck to any students still doing their practice senior board speech. Friday at the Tower of Youth Teen Digital Real Film Festival at the Crest Theater, Delora was well represented. Samson Lofton and Kelly Scanlon won the Award of Excellence for their hydroelectric documentary. Also, DOTV's very own Matt Flick received the Best Portfolio Award in the commercial category. That's just great. It really is. Well, congratulations, guys. And anyone who wishes to see these winning entries and, sub and other submitted, you should visit the DOTV website. And as a side note, thanks to Danny Lloyd, we have a great new desk. So I'd like to thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on DOTV. I'm Lauren Raboni. And I'm Megan Silva. You stay classy, Del Oro. And thanks for stopping by. <laughs>